Hoy vamos a hacer un proyecto popular en México llamado Hoja Lata con Solas Aztecas. Translation. Today we are going to do a Mexican folk art project with Aztec sons called Hoja Lata. You will get to emboss your own Aztec sons into metal foil. Before we begin our project, let's learn a little bit about the country that this art form is inspired by. Mexico is the nation that runs along the southern border of our country. It is known for having a warm climate, lush vegetation, and beautiful beaches. Mexico is famous for its mariachi music and wonderful food, which most of you have probably tasted. Although most people in Mexico speak Spanish, the country has many regions with diverse cultures and people. Many famous artists come from Mexico including Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. Ojalata. Today we will be doing a form of Mexican folk art. Folk art is a type of art that is created by craftsmen or native people, usually with no formal artistic training. A folk art item is handmade and typically has a practical purpose like a mirror or a frame. Since the 1500s, Mexican people have been shaping, stamping, embossing, and cutting metal into decorative and functional artwork called ojalata or tin art. This art is easy to make and very versatile. Sol de Azteca Today, we will be embossing an Aztec sun into our metal project. The Aztec people lived in Mexico many centuries ago. They carved an enormous calendar on solidified lava in the late 15th century. It is referred to as the sunstone. It is an intricate carving that can predict solar eclipses. You can see the Aztec sun theme in many Mexican folk art pieces today. Okay, I bet you are ready to make your own Ojalata Aztec Sun. Let's get started. Step 1. Take out your own pencil and turn your paper sideways on your table. Step 2. Line up your piece of copper foil with a corner of your paper and trace the foil. Step 3. Cut out the square shape that you have traced. It should be a 5 by 5 inch square piece of paper. You will draw the template for your sun on this square. Step 4. Place the open end of a plastic cup in the middle of your paper and trace the circle. This will create the face of your sun. Step 5. Draw the rays of your sun. Feel free to be creative. You can draw triangular rays or more petal-like rays. You can even draw rings around your sun. Here are some examples. Step 6. Draw a face on your sun. Draw your eyes and mouth. A fun way to make the nose is to start it at the very top of the face and run it down through the mouth. Step 7. Somewhere under your sun, add your initials. Step 8. When you are satisfied with your drawing, attach it to your copper foil square. Place it on the foil and carefully fold over the corners. This will help you to keep the drawing in place while you are tracing it. Step 9. Make sure you have multiple layers of newspaper under your foil. This will create a cushion for the embossing. 
Step 10. Start tracing your drawing. This is the only time at school that we will encourage you to have a dull pencil. If your pencil is freshly sharpened, it might poke holes in the paper or foil. So dull is actually better for this project. Trace your entire drawing, pressing quite firmly so that your sun transfers through to your metal. Step 11. After you have traced over your entire drawing, remove the paper and examine your sun. You can use your pencil to retrace and deepen the lines if the lines don't seem deep enough. Final step. Add some color accents to your sun with permanent marker. And surprise, if you turn your sun over, you have a second metal surface to add some color to. We hope you enjoyed making your own Ojalata Aztec sun today. You can tell your family that you created a special Mexican folk art project at school.